luck. Godspeed. things that I really try to focus on on the in this channel is um, Alaska adventures that anybody could do you could literally get off a plane in Anchorage maybe rent some equipment or something um, and go out and do any of these adventures that I do there's nothing that I've done that's extraordinary um, that an average person couldn't go out and just accomplish part of it I think is knowing where the trail heads are where to get on the trail and then there's some obstacles and things always to look out for but if you kind of know what you're looking out for and, and what to do anybody could go out and do this trip um, next year you could go out and do this trip um, this is really a world-class experience i think absolutely amazing Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck, Dallas. Thank you. That was that was Dallas CD. He is a four-time Iditarod winner. He won last year, and he's going to be first one to know him again this year. And if you um, haven't had a chance, he has a YouTube channel. Um, I think it's just called Dallas CD. And it's pretty cool. He talks about racing, gives some of the behind the scenes things that are going on, little race strategies, definitely worth checking out. Good luck. Thank you. Austin, I want to give a big shout out to my friends in Ida Sioux in Wayne County. Good luck. Thank you. I was really worried about the trail conditions. This is soft, smushy snow. Um, and I initially, I didn't go out two weeks ago to watch the Iron Dog initially because I thought there'd be so much overflow and the trail would be such a mucked up mess. And Big Lake was horrible. If you saw the start of Big Lake, I'll show that to you right now. And so I really didn't want to come out on the trail just because I thought it was going to be a disaster. And that's the reason I chose to come the way I did. I, w I wanted to go a different way, but last time I was there, um, the ice just wasn't good. And that was probably a month ago. And during that time, it's just been warm. So I can't believe that it's gotten any better. Um, and that's a video that I've uploaded. I'll, I'll put that, I'll tag it down in the bottom in the description of this video. Um, if you want to see what the trail conditions look like. I've been out here twice on the trail and both times, um, the first time, probably six weeks ago, the trail was solid. It looked really good, except it was kind of skinny on snow. And then um, shortly thereafter, I think two weeks after that, I went back out and um, it warmed up and the trail was not in very good condition. And so, um, I'm surprised this is in pretty darn good shape.
and right here. So um, hopefully it'll be a really good trip to Nome for these guys. Here comes another one. I'll get out of the way so you can see them. So that was Amanda Otto. She is running Jeff King's A team. He wasn't gonna race this year. And then just like two days before the race, another racer had to drop out. And so he took that gentleman's team, um, which was his B team, the King B team actually. And so interesting that the apprentice may actually beat the King. We'll see how that goes. I'm kind of pulling for her actually. Although I've been a Jeff King fan for a long time. Good luck. Nice Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Got a nice setup. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Dude, are you guys just gonna stay the night too? I am. Man, that is awesome. That's perfect. <laughs> That's why you do that. That's yeah. Awesome. Hey, have a great trip to Nome. I will, thank you. Boos are another um, very successful I did rod champion. Good luck. You, okay, while the race is going on, I'm going to get some dinner going here. So that's dryer lint down there. And I got a starter on top of that and some wood. So we're just gonna let that go. And um, we'll keep watching the race and we'll get dinner going. We'll have dinner with the race. Nice. Good luck.
Well, what a spectacular day to be in the outdoors. All the racers have went by now. Uh, for dinner, I'm making something that I'm super excited about. We'll see how it turns out. Sometimes I make these plans and they're disasters. But my plan is, let these snow machines go by here. is to make this it's called a pinwheel what I did was I took some moose tin we're gonna try that out and see how that goes take a look at the Sun as the Sun sets one of my mottos is you should never miss a good sunset or a sunrise and I will end up spending the night out here probably head back tomorrow I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately and I think one of the cool things about YouTube is you can see different people in different places and different areas and how they do things different than you. And a guy that I watched recently um, goes by the, the name of the Bearded Camper. And um, he's been, done a lot of winter camping this winter and he's put up some videos from that. And it's really cool, his style is different than mine but his area is way different than mine. And so um, he's most certainly worth checking out. Um, again, it's different than me but um, he's camped in way worse conditions than I am right now. And so I thought that was quite interesting is, you know, here we are in Alaska and it's just a golden day. And he was, I think, in the Midwest and um, just bitter, bitter cold. Um, so definitely worth checking out. In the description for this video, I'll put links to the people that I've mentioned during the course of this video, um, Dallas CV, the Bearded Camper, so that you'll be able to find them easier. Well, pretty nice. I got some mushrooms and peppers here. So it's cold out here. It's eight degrees. This is good running weather for the dogs though. For people, it might seem a bit on the chilly side, but the dogs don't do well when it's as warm as it was yesterday. It's not their best running temperature. Today, this is good temperature for running dogs. I suspect a lot of those mushers pulled up somewhere along the trail yesterday afternoon and let it get dark and then went in the dark. And um, they're probably loving this temperature right now. Take a look around here. I'm about 50 yards up from my tent. There is my tent oh, over there somewhere.